Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to solve this question in Java. It states that shop owner has two outlets, namely High Street Branch and more Branch. The shop's respective sales figures in Ghana cities are shown by the tables below. So, you can the table which contains the sales of each um, branch, that the more branch monthly sales and then the high street branch monthly sales and we have to write a program in java that calculates the respective monthly combined sales for the two shops each shop respective quarterly sales and the combined respective quarterly sales for the two shops the respective shops annual sales the bank annual combined total sales for the two shops and some other questions so let's get right into the video i have a simple program here in IntelliJ. You can follow along with any editor of your choice and what i'm doing is i've represented the data given to us in the question in a two-dimensional array so this form of table can easily be represented in a two-dimensional array and that makes solving the question much easier so i have the high street values represented in a two-dimensional array so this is a particular row and this is a particular row and i have also have the more branch data represented in a two-dimensional array i have a string of array months which just contains strings of like months and then i also have an array quarterly sales and that is going to hold uh, our value or our calculation for our quarterly sales the same applies to the monthly sales i also have declared variables for high street yearly sales and more branch yearly sales these are variables that are going to contain or they are going to hold um, the yearly sales for each of the shops that the high street shop and the more branch shop i also have the quarterly sales i've declared a variable which is going to hold the value of the quarterly sales of each um, of these shops i also have a variable called some quarter and current month which we're going to know more about them as we proceed so to access values in a two-dimensional array we use two nested loops I mean a loop and a nested loop. So this is how it's been done. We first have a loop. And then another loop within that loop. And this is how we access values in a nested for loop. I mean in a in a two-dimensional region and a step forward so the reason why we are using high streets here is simple because the arrays are all of the same type and aside being the same type they are the same structure you can see that they are all two-dimensional arrays that they all contain the same data types and they all contain the same data structure so you can basically use anything over here you can use the high street or you can use the more branch and they are all going to work the same way because they have the same structure yeah. and the reason why i'm assessing j over here the index j over here is i want to get the length for each particular row so let's say if i'm on this row i want to get the length which is thread yeah instead of getting uh, instead of just putting high street dot length as i did over here that is going to give me four but that's not what the nested loop looks for it's looking for the length of the individual element the individual rows that's so that's how we access um, elements in a two-dimensional array now the first thing we'll be doing is calculating for the yearly sales so with that one is very easy to calculate for the yearly sales you just have to combine all the values you have in the array so all the values in high streets that's the first row the second row the third row and the fourth row which give us the combined or the annual in sales for high streets and as we do same for more branch we're also going to get the annual sales for more branch so let's do that really quick in our four loop
So in this loop, what are we are doing is we are accessing the individual elements, and this is how we access the individual elements in the two-dimensional array. So it's um, raised by column. Yeah. So we are accessing the individual elements of the array, and we are adding them to the high street sales. So whenever we do, we are accumulating whatever is in the high street sales into the high street, and whatever is in the more branch into the more branch, and just doing that will give us the yearly sales. Now let's solve for which branch does well in each month or in which month does a particular branch does well than the other. So with that one is really simple. We just need an if statement. So all that we do is we write an if statement. So all that all one this code is doing is when we look this particular um, uh, command or this particular code is giving us the value for each month. You realize that these are the values for each month. So uh, for high street, the first month is forty two thousand, and the second month is forty eight thousand, and for more branch, the first month is fifty seven thousand, and the second month is sixty three thousand. So what I'm doing is. I'm comparing whatever the current month, the value of the current month to the value of the current month of the other. So the high street, the current value of high street in a particular month to the current value of more branch in another in the same month. And if high street is greater than more branch, I just bring to the console that high street is better than more branch in that particular month so i'm using my month array over here that's january february march april may june i'm using those months and i'm assessing the current month and the current month is just a variable which is in index zero so this is actually going to print january several times so it means each time we look at it, we have to increase our current month by one so at the end of the else statement we can increase our current month by one so that each time this loop runs we are going to have the current the value of the current <laughs> increasing we can find our quarterly sales easily by doing high street quarterly sales plus equals to going to give us um, the summation of each month so this is actually going to contain the value of each month just like we are doing for the year so this means that whenever we exit the uh, inner loop that's the one it reads over the quarters we have to set our high street and quarterly sales now more branch quarterly sales to zero so that it won't keep on accumulating just like the high street yearly sales and the more branch yearly sales
now we want to build the sum of each month that's the combined total of each month that's 42,000 plus 57,000 48,000 plus 63,000 so in January we want to get the, the value for high street and more branch together in February we want to get the value of high street and more branch together so that's what we are using the sum for so the sum we need to give us the value of high street in, in a particular month plus the value of more branch also in a particular month so we can see that the monthly sales of that current month of that current month equals to sum because this code over here is given in the total the total um, sales of the two shops in a particular month and then we assign it to the monthly sales of that particular month this means that we have to move our current month downwards below the monthly sales since we are still using it here so i just brought my current month below the monthly sales Now we have to calculate for the quarterly sales for all the banks for both high streets and more banks, their quarterly sales. And this sum over here gives us the monthly sales, monthly sales for both branches. So to find the quarterly sales for both branches, it's very simple. All we have to do is that we created a variable called quarter, and that variable we use to store the quarterly sales for each particular iteration or for each particular um, inner group iteration so we can do quarter plus equal to sum and this would mean that for each month we are adding it to the quarter so in January whatever we had for high street and more branch will be, uh, will be added to one and to be given to the variable sum and that sum will be assigned to the monthly sales yeah, the current month for that month we sell so in January maybe high street had 42,000 42,000 in January and more branch had 57,000 so what we are doing in this code is we are combining that 42,000 and 57,000 and it's, we are assigning that um, value to some and then we come and say a monthly sales for that current month which is you know, it starts from zero is equal to some so monthly sales for let's say general is equal to the summation of the uh, monthly sales from high streets and the monthly sales from more branch then we increase our month then we come to our quarter our quarter is calculating for each three months so 42,000 48,000 50,000 that's just going to give us one quarter and you know that whenever the inner loop runs one um, three times we get one quarter so when the outer loop, there are four quarters in total. So it means the outer loop is going to run four times. The inner loop is going to run three times. So whenever we get the monthly uh, amount, we add it to our quarter. Yeah. Now outside the inner loop, outside the inner loop, when we come to the outer loop we have to when we come to the outer loop we see that the quarterly sales the quarterly sales for a particular quarter quarterly sales is an array of size four so it means there are four quarters in total and the outer loop is going to run four times so after calculating for the total quarter in the inner loop that is just going to run three times and it's going to give us uh, the summation of let's say from january to march from January to March, when we get to the outer loop, we are going to give that summation that's from January to March to the quarterly sales array. And we do the quarterly sales array index i equal to the quarter. So we find that whatever we found through the calculation of the three months that we had over here will be given to the quarterly sales. So the first three month value will be given to quarterly sales index of zero. The second three months value will be given to a quarterly sales index of one, just like that. And now we have to reset our quarter 
to zero so that it can still be used in the loop the next time we enter the inner loop it will still be reset to zero so that it will keep on adding the values now to find which which um, branch did better in the quarter like to find which branch did better we just use an if statement so we check if the more branch quarterly sales is greater than the high street quarterly sales so if this is true the reason is that yeah we have those values over here the high street quarterly sales and the more branch quarterly sales are all here so we can simply use it to check in the outer loop if in the months if the more branch quarterly sales is getting a high fit quarterly sales then we can put something like more branch Plus one. The reason we are using I plus one is because the for loop I starts from zero. And we don't want to say more branch did better than high street in quarter zero. So we add one to it and that will mean quarter one. So if this statement is not true, then it means that uh, high street rather did well. So this is how we find which uh, branch did better quarterly. So we we'll check if the more branch quarterly sales is better than the high street quarterly sales. If that is true, then we print more branch did better in that quarter because we are using the quarterly sales over here. We are getting the quarterly sales over here by adding the monthly sales of the respective branches. We are getting the quarterly sales here. After doing that, we shouldn't forget to reset the quarterly sales to zero. Otherwise, they are going to keep on accumulating and we have, our values are going to be wrong. So after we are done printing um, which branch did well in a particular quarter, we have to reset the quarterly sales to zero. So that in the next iteration, it will start all afresh from zero. Now we've been able to find our monthly sales from here. We'll be able to find our monthly sales. We've been able to find our quarterly sales. And we'll find our which So we start by printing our monthly sales. So let's print and we know 
that our monthly sales is an array. Our monthly sales over here is an array of 12. And we calculated it over here, our monthly sales, by using the sum. And that is our high street month and then our more branch month to get the monthly sales. So we can group to our monthly sales and print each of it. So the monthly sales, monthly sales. So we print out monthly sales. The next is to print our quarterly sales. So This code will move through the area of our quarterly sales and print every value. Now let's print our annual sales. check which more which branch did well in the whole year so we can do that with a simple if statement Seals. So 
that is going to be a combination of our high street yearly sales and our more branch yearly sales. And guys, this is all that it takes to swap all the questions from the respective monthly combined sales to ranking the shops according to their best quarterly performance. Now let's run the code and see if everything works. So, you realize that our code runs without any error. And you realize we have our output such as more branch did better than high street in January, more branch did better than high street in February. And if you compare from the data that we have, realize that in January, in January, more branch had 57,000, whilst um, High Street had 42,000, and in February, more branch had 63,000, whilst High Street had 48,000. So that means our data is correct. And then again, in March, more branch had 60,000, whilst High Street had 50,000. So uh, in all the quarter, so in the first quarter, more branch did better than high street and it's over again more branch did better than high street in quarter one and our code continues i get in quarter two quarter three and we have our monthly sales so in general the monthly sales was 99,000, and when you combine 42,000, 57,000, you are going to get 99,000. and in march we have 110,000. if you add 50,000, 60,000. We are going to get 110,000 and when you come back again we have our more branch annual sales and our high street annual sales so more branch did better in the whole year and our grand annual sales so guys this is what it takes to solve um, this question thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one